Sorry for making the call without you, but the uh, club's a good man. I say we hear him out. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. He's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Hey, sorry, yeah, no, he can't talk. He just sort of makes that noise. Yeah, it's gross. I don't want him to do it anymore. Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great. He's a good drummer. And I think it would help him. You know, he's a good musician. I think it would... He, trust me, it'd be worth your time. A drum? That's all he wants? Yeah, sure, we'll get him a drum. and calling you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now and here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? 
So, you really got a lot of people looking to buy alien cum, huh? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you buying or nay? For real, alien cum? What's wrong with you? I know it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum, and we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. Look, I can't believe we're doing this, but let's have some cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum? I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Yo, Mr. Keep, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Good eye. That thing's a real beauty. And I'm keeping it. So buy something else. Jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait. Not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. Take your time. Enjoy. Oh, you like that, huh? Well, it's mine. You can't have it. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm starting a conversation with Jorb, but, uh, how's school, Jorb? Ain't none of your business, dipshit. Oh, come on now. Is that so wrong that I want to know more about my son's life? Fine, you want to know how school is? You really want to know what your son did today? 
We had to dissect some baby Swedes in biology class, and I named mine after you, Father. I said, this little Swede is named Mr. Cape, just like my dad, and I'm gonna rip him apart with this scalpel. I'm gonna take out each organ one by one and lay them all out on a metal tray that's not even comfortable, and I label them all. This is Mr. Keep's heart. This is Mr. Keep's bleed. Stuff like that. And then I'm gonna put... Wait! Now get out of here. Great! Now get out of here. Oh, hey, get your hands off. That's not for sale. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just watching you shop. That's a lot of running. Aren't you fucking tired? Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? I'd rather not, but fine. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not gonna let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. Oh shit, so the little freak can play. Hell, chill out. I'm the prank caller. Oh, uh, so you're prank calling me? Bingo, buddy, bingo. <laughs> what, 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 is your refrigerator going nuts over there? Is it what? Is your refrigerator going nuts? What do you mean? What are you asking me? Is my refrigerator going nuts? What does that mean? Oh, it's just like, is it sparking? Is it, is it falling apart? Is the door off the hinges? No, it's my fridge is fine. Hang it up now. Whoa, all right, click. That was not a good one. Let's try one more silly prank phone call. Here we go. Ring, 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 ring. Hey, who's this? It's me, Jimmy Prankster. The it's not Jimmy Goofster's my name. I got confused because I do so many prank phone calls. I called myself Jimmy Prankster by accident. All right. You there, how about some, uh, food? Hey, you look hungry. Hungry for some, uh, deals? Am I right? Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit, if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. 
Now order something or leave. Perfect. Thank you for not doing anything illegal here at Blordo's. Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Oh, check out that landing, goddamn! Warp break, see you next week on Jimmy Goopsters, Big Fat Wank Show! Mwah! Love you, goodbye. Are you tired of boogers clogging up your nose? Well, don't do it anymore. Get spaghetti in there instead. That's right. We're like a goddamn flying thing. Why put spaghetti in your nose, people say. Why? 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 Here to demonstrate spaghetti nose. Whoops. Uh, uh, maybe let's try that again. It feels really bad, and I, like, my book are not... Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweed gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. 
Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed-up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway... A nice little arrangement with Klug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch the pail of water. Uh, a moplet! It's you! Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that's us. Uh, where is everyone? Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Oh, shit. Okay, well, no guarantees we're going to save them again, but wh wh where are they? They're working at Screndo Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Thanks. Looks like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. Hey, maybe that scanner on your bounty hunter suit can get our bearings. I don't, I 
don't think there's anything we really need to do here or see here. If only they were all this week, you know? Fucking fuck! Maybe we could check out the sacred grounds where we saved Prince Chosen One, you know? That's probably where we should go, you know, hint, hint. We're like a drone! to good use. Jetpack. Nice. We're really flying, huh? Really cool stuff, Bounty Hunter. Like, we're flying. Okay, this definitely must be the right way because, you know, we, 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 uh, we, we haven't gone this way yet, you know?
Oh, why do we have to fall in here? Got that mic. team.
I don't want to be pushy or anything, but maybe try my glob shot every now and again, you know? Is somebody fucking sniping at us? Shit, they just keep coming! think Scrandle Labs is like, I mean, I, I, mean, like, I, I know a little bit, I mean, I, I, I heard a bit, so, so I kind of know, but I, I'm just making small talk right now, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fill the dead air, it's really uncomfortable, I mean, don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting, because, you know, I'm, I'm doing my best here, you know? Feed it to me. It powers me back up. Oh, hey, what's been going on out here? Oh, yeah, sweetie time. Hello, and welcome to Scranda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. You gotta be kidding me, it's fucking Helen! Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Oh shit, here they come. You know, hey, at least the elevators are working now. Killed your cheating ass. Right. 
inside an elevator like this? Be careful! To don't fall! I like you, but I'm still killing you! Damn, Bounty Hunter! Nice! You're pretty good at elevator fights! There's more of them! You feeling that breeze? Cause I sure am! Oh, I love it! God damn it, Bounty Hunter! Shit! Okay, I, I mean... Listen, I'm sorry. It it's okay. Uh, just let let's... Let's climb back up! We know how to do it! Let let let's keep going! this place you know let's see what kind of experiments they're doing here their shit together. What a mess. Oh god, are those Gatlians? I think I'm gonna be sick. Wait, I think that one's alive. The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another cat laying alive in here? Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes, there's so many. Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no. These fucking G3 bastards. Creature, we're taking on the cartel. You want in? Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah! Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in. But that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks, and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. 
beautiful! Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us! Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. Oh yeah, that's one of my children! They died back! Don't worry, it's easy to make more, and it feels good! God, I love them so much! They grow up so fast, then they die! It's pretty rough being a dad. Do not recommend it. Ah, who are these cute critters? Hey, I don't want to be annoying, but you could use me to get into the weapons grab thing center. Hope that's not annoying to say or anything. There we go, why haven't you been using me? Hello again, look who's back baby! I gave birth to a lot of tiny guys really fast? Hey, is this gonna hurt? Is this gonna hurt getting a weapon grafted to my arm? You're gonna graft the alien to my arm, and that's gonna be permanent, is that right? Cause mind. He'll go into a frenzy. Did I tell you they can do that? They can do that. Oh, oh, and if you keep piling my kids on top of a guy, they can do mind control shit. They can make a bad guy fight for fun. Oh, shit. That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shitheads. They do not listen. in an airtight crate whenever they take me outside. I really liked it. Oh, I 
can help you with that little hook bug hide. Shoot my little guys in there. Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him. Hey, hey, this is fun! Do you do this sort of stuff all the time, bounty hunter?
So you're just gonna keep trying to kill me, huh? Well, that's real nice. Real sweet. Now, let me ask you something. Do you know if you like to kill me? Bitch, he got away. I, I, I really thought we killed that guy. 